Hey guys, it's Seal Man, and I finally managed to get a hold of the Avalon Outlaws bundle that came out like uh, a few days, weeks ago. Can't exactly remember since I've been a f bit busy doing several things, mostly on Pyro 101 and helping out with a few things and working during the summer. But fi finally, now it's not mixing up the word, but I finally got the bundle. So, we are going to redeem the house last, so let's look at the attire first. And as I thought, we look like Robin Hood. Next level is 120 as usual. And they're all the same cards, which I think that's a good thing, but I don't really know. Cool, I mean, acuity seems pretty cool. 5% pierce, 25% accuracy, and double steel charm sounds pretty good. Does that do more accuracy than the regular steel charm? Or is it the same? I don't really know. Um, we're, of course, going to redeem the max level 1. The Outlaws Bow. Angel Marks Definitely a very nice looking bow. Very nice. Outlaw's courtesy. It's basically steel pip. And of course, speaking of steel pip, I'm still upset about the pip conversion rating because that's still 1% only, which is pretty bad. The Vulpine Avenger, 2% Pierce. It's cute! Then the Fairy Fly. When I saw this, I was instantly thinking of Navi from The Legend of Zelda. Let's have a good card, I mean. And its name is Misty. Okay. Castle to Outlaw's Refuge. Let's equip all this. Let's equip. I definitely I gotta manage my backpack more since it's just always a mess. And what was the pet's name? Misty? I'll stick with that name. But Oh, that's waiting to hatch. So I'm going to put the mount. Full pine Avenger. So cute. Okay, now let's check out the house. There we go. Oh, it's probably going to look like that, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. This looks cool. I also like the running animation to this. I have a jump. I love it. Okay, so. Should we explore first? And oh my goodness, that is um, that over seven thousand health. Okay, Pyromancer with seven thousand health. I wonder how much health Storm Wizards would have. And this is the Battle Circle, and we got a flaming catapult here. That I Well, we hit something. Let's not start a forest fire. Uh, in a little kind of like hidden secret area, I suppose. I don't know where that fireball went. And I'll probably have to get a friend to see where it lands. And these look like ruins, and I do hope that the fireball didn't destroy it, but it probably did. 
And of course, there's fishing as usual in every house. There's traditional fishing. Not sure what the new fish is, but I'll fish for it at some point or another. Is there anything else hidden among these ruins? Some secret passageway, secret trap doors, secret anything. I'll have to explore that in some other time. <coughs> what else are the stats for this gear? It's actually not that bad. Uh, I don't know. 20% stun resist is okay, I think. Yeah, mm, the uh, tile pips is at 80%. Not that good, really. And Pip conversion, 1%. As, as always. You okay, buddy? You okay? Okay, anyways. Armor piercing, definitely a lack. 8% shadow pip bonus. I don't really care for that much, but, I mean, for those really wanting shadow pips, I mean, there you go. The accuracy is, um... It isn't that bad, actually. Like, it, the resistance, I don't really know about. I'm pretty sure you're going to have to, like, do, like, pets to fix that. But, again, as always, the Malastir gear and Dark Moor is still the best. I'm pretty sure until they come out with possibly 120 or 130 gear. Because people are saying that Imperia is coming somewhat this summer. But I don't really think so. But, let's keep on exploring find any more secrets but I'm just gonna we have an entrance somewhere that kind of looks like an entrance right there yes I knew it I knew this looked like something in okay we're recently up here the pet hatch so I'm gonna put that are these all doors to enter not doors? Okay, I guess they're just windows. Okay, they look like doors to me. So, here is a door. Okay, what do we got around here? This just goes back outside, I guess. Okay, I'm right over here. Oh, so that's where I came from. Okay, I get it, I get it. So... What's this platform for? Does it take me... Oh, okay. Fall damage. No fall damage, okay. I guess fall damage wouldn't exist in this game, because... We're all wizards, it's all magic. No need for any sorts like that. Cause fall damage just exists cause of magic. So let's keep exploring. Ooh. Still want to know what sorts of secret, secret areas this place might have. Uh, we're just going to hug the walls a little bit and see if we find anything. Otherwise, I'll have to find it on my own after the video. Let's go outside. <clears throat> Definitely, I think, going to be a big house in that Certainly a winding tunnel. I want to go there. This looks cool. Uh, because it's kind of like all bendy, I doubt you can even put anything in here. Cool if you could, and it could be just at an angle, and you could like make this like a um, fun house or something. I'm, I think I'm getting lost in all this. I'm not exactly sure where we have been and where we have yet to explore. I'm getting lost in all this. Uh, this 
feels like a maze. What is this? Oh. Ooh, the Pioneer Dragon. First generation beta days of Wizard 101. Oh, I wish I had that as a pet. I don't know how. Mm, not too useful, but for a lower level, definitely a little useful. And I'm assuming this goes elsewhere. Just in case. Is there any secrets around here? So I'm just going to be hunting secrets. But I guess no secrets, so. I guess we'll go back outside. I'm definitely liking the outfit. I definitely. Oh. Okay, that's not just up here. So what is up here then? So many doors. I'm getting lost. This is huge. Or is this like, or am I just making going in circles and I'm just getting lost by my own? Uh, this has to be new. I don't think I've been up here. Definitely a big house. I'm gonna get lost so easily. There's a thing here. Can we go here? Let's go over here. Wait, is there anything getting over here? It is! So that's the first secret. So, okay, so what I'm getting at here is this is kind of like one of those video games where you go through like those long series of puzzles and getting possibly lost. And then you, you're you just given the shortcut back to the entrance because it's like, oh, is that easy? Like there's just this easy shortcut to, after you went through that long twist and turn of puzzles and then there you go. Right, well, that's that. Where does this go? Somewhere new. Oh, are we above? I think we're above. And of course, I knew it! It was right here all along! Right at the top of the stairs! <laughs> oh, so obvious! Is there anything else that I haven't seen? I'm gonna... Um, quickly look around some more and see what I can find. Check in here since I don't think I've been in here. And I don't think I have. And there doesn't seem to be much in here. But unless there's a secret wall somewhere. There has to be. No. Oh, 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 oh. I knew it. Where does this go? Um, uh, I, uh, is, is this unintentional? Um, uh, uh, this is where we were before. This definitely looks like a secret, but I, I'm stuck. Is this a player trap? Is this supposed to just get players stuck in a wall? Um, okay. Please help me. Okay, now that I, I come back here, this all does look kind of familiar. Once I get to know my bearings. Okay, this is not the house. This is not the right area. Where is it this one? Or am I, again, just getting lost about everything? Because I'm probably still going to need to remember everywhere in this house. Okay, so... It was below us, and this was it. Okay, so you don't get stuck in the wall, but it doesn't seem to want to let you pass by that way. So, I'm very confused about that. But this doesn't go anywhere, but that does. Okay. Interesting. And, yep, that's definitely up there. Okay, so this should be the place. Yep, right dead below. Okay, so... People are going to want to put a sign somewhere around here indicating that that wall is dangerous. But I'm curious if there's anything else here. Probably isn't, but... 
I think that just about wraps it up as I believe that's everything this house and bundle has to offer. I believe. These amazing spells. This may cast, which doesn't seem that bad. I don't think. I think that just about does it. So, <clears throat> I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is the Avalon Outlaws bundle. And hopefully I didn't miss every anything. I really hope I didn't because I'm getting lost in this place for sure. Like, I am bad at navigation at this house since it's so big, so many winding turns. But overall, it's pretty cool. This is really cool. You get to look like Robin Hood too. Which is also neat. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna end the video here. I look cool with this. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.